I loathe, abhor, detest, despise, abominate dried apple pies. I like good bread. I like good meat or anything that's fit to eat. But of all poor grub beneath the skies, the poorest is dried apple pies. Give me the toothache or sore eyes, but don't give me dried apple pies. The farmer takes his gnarliest fruit, tis wormy, bitter, and hard to boot. He leaves the holes to make us cough and don't take half the peeling off. Then on a dirty cord to strung and in a garret window hung. And there it serves as roost for flies until it's made up into pies. Tread on my corns or tell me lies. But don't pass me dried apple pies. Well, that's a poem by Anonymous. But I'm going to tell you what I really hate now. I'm a, a Christian. I believe in biblical Christianity. The Christianity we find in the Bible. And what I hate the most in the whole world are the teachings that faith in Jesus for your salvation is not enough. More is required. You must do your part by behaving, obeying, Doing, doing good things, removing sin from your life. The Bible says that's a false gospel, a damnable heresy. You must put your faith entirely in Jesus Christ. You must believe it's salvation. Your place in heaven is not determined by how well you've lived your life, how well you've behaved. But instead, your salvation and eternal life, your place in heaven, is determined solely by one thing, and that is your faith that Jesus died for all your sins on the cross, and he rose from the dead, proving he is God and Savior. He has power over life and death, and he gives you life everlasting as a free gift if you put your faith completely in him completely in him. What does that mean? It means that you're relying completely on Jesus for your salvation and you put no confidence in your own merit at all. So I hate the false gospel that salvation is earned through personal merit. I also hate all of those professing Christians who want to argue and divide and, and uh, cause strife and division among each other over minor theological subjects. These people I call the dogmatists. I hate dogmatists. I hate dogmatism. These people are intolerant of other opinions on minor doctrines. Now, we must be dogmatic about the core doctrines of Christianity. The core doctrines are that Jesus is eternal God Almighty. God manifest in the flesh is the Son of God, Savior, sole source of eternal life, and that we're saved by the grace of God alone, through faith alone in Christ alone. No works on our part are required or contribute to our salvation. And that once we put our faith in Jesus, we receive eternal life 
and it's permanent, it's irrevocable, it's irreversible by God or by us. Once we're saved, by our faith in Jesus, we're always saved. These are the core doctrines of Christianity. All other theological subject matter are, don't rise to the level of importance of these essentials. All other theological subjects and questions we must be allowed to argue and debate and discuss and learn from each other without calling each other, you know, heretics and all kinds of other names and just and dividing over minor doctrines. Let's give each other tolerance and liberty on the minor doctrines. So, I like that poem, Dried Apple Pies, but truly what I really hate is the false gospel message, message of salvation is earned by your own efforts. And I also hate dogmatism in the church, intolerance for different opinions on minor doctrines. Thank you for watching. I don't know if you got past the poem and heard the, the Bible message, but bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.